Rocking with PettyBlog.com. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh, petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. So let's get right into it. According to some new reports, in addition to having her life stolen by these fake friends of hers, Shanquella also had her money stolen from them as well. So this may have been the motive for those who kept on saying, but why though? Not that there should be, okay? So in these new claims, they are saying that this group actually stole about $10,000 from her and that she paid for the entire Airbnb, which would mean that her fake friends only covered their own flights but were using Shanquella as their walking ATMs, which would explain why when she walked in that room, you can tell that they were mad that she was even there. It don't take that long to get naked. It don't take that long to get naked, hoes. Where y'all at? Um, I would keep my high benefits that I don't want to work with. Uh, they <laughs> when go on said they croup. <laughs> but their dumb asses are the ones who even invited her. Like be for real, make it make sense. And these reports also claim that they had intentions of stealing and running up her credit cards, but clearly their plans went awry. And now that the whole world is onto them, they ruined their own lives as well. And of course, these new claims are now under investigation. But I do want to say that it is a thousand percent believable. Why you may ask? Well, because now that we look back at it and more into it, we found footage of her so-called best friend, Khalil Cook, from two years ago, talking about how Quella gets money and how she needs to put him on her payroll. Mind you, she's looking at him like a friend saying, I love you in this clip, but he's more concerned about her pockets. I love him. <laughs> she was a boss and that day even wrote that she spends a ticket, meaning a bag, you know, money, and that she takes business seriously. And being that he clearly didn't like her in real life, he clearly stayed around her for her resources and pockets. And it's also being reported that he's the one that set her up. So being as though he manipulated her to think that they were besties, he invited her out to this trip and was able to get her to spend her bread to cover him and the rest of the bums there with intentions to rob her and they plotted on how not to get caught, hence is the alleged reason why they beat her. And it's not clear if they assumed that she wouldn't snitch on them had she recovered from the brutal attack or whether they knew that had she passed they would have got away with it being as though they were in Mexico, but it is clear as day that it was a thousand percent a setup and as they plotted on her in the other room, Khalil was the watchman who was supposed to look out to make sure that Shanquella didn't catch them plotting, but he didn't want to make it obvious and that's why while Shanquella was looking for them so they can go have some fun outside and they were in that room jumbled up planning the attack, you can see Khalil was right in front of her trying to sneak back to the room before she got there to let them know that she was coming but trying to also play it cool so she doesn't get suspicious. All why them little devil's auras changed as soon as they saw Shanquella walk in and were taken aback that she was back and probably was hoping that she ain't hear nothing of what they were saying. It's my friends to me because y'all, it don't take that long to get naked. It don't take that long to get naked, hoes. Where y'all at? She told me I'm gonna keep it hot. You gonna keep it hot? What? They when go on said they croup. <laughs> The entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her body there. That's crazy. These little brokies were envious of her drive and independency. And Khalil is a whole fake, a whole weirdo, a whole scammer, all that. Let me tell y'all, he got a PPP loan for $20,000 and don't even have a business. Yeah, they need to get him for that too. Now put that on your payroll. And if you're still not convinced about how evil this Khalil guy truly is, let me show you more receipts. So y'all do know that he's the one that called Quella's mom up talking about she was alcohol poisoned, right? But did you also know that when he called her mom and said that she wasn't feeling well, that she was possibly already dead? And when the mom told him to take her to the emergency room, he said that they needed $5,000 cash for that. They couldn't take it to the emergency room, they said, because they needed $5,000 cash. Um, was his extra money hungry ass trying to extort and finesse the mom too? And her mom did remind him that Quella had insurance. And look, I don't know if she would have been able to be seen anyway in Mexico being as though it was US insurance and being that the hospitals out there are tricky for tourists or whatever. But the point is, if she was already gone and he was acting like she was still sick, then they were not trying to get her medical help anyway for their plan to stick. 
You get me? I believe Shankula was already passed. And keep in mind that when they flew back to NC, Khalil put on his best acting skills and went to assist Quella's mom for four days straight, you know, fake crying and acting sad and concerned and of course thinking that his plan worked. Being as though that there was no foul play initially as per the Mexican authorities, but guess when he stopped showing up and had disappeared? Can y'all guess when? The same day that the autopsy results came back and revealed that she didn't have any alcohol in her system, but instead was beaten to death and had some broken bones. Wow. And Quella's mother didn't see him ever since. He came to the house four days in a row until he found out we knew what the autopsy said. Haven't seen him since. Homeboy's been on the run. And I'm not going to show his address because I know for a fact that based on his bum behavior that he most likely lived with his mother or grandmother. So I'm not going to show y'all that because clearly him and the rest of the other losers are currently hiding and have disconnected their phones even. But here's what gets me. His fake sad Facebook post that he had made in her honor before they found out that, you know, it wasn't alcohol poisoning. He wrote, Dear Miss Quella the Boss, My heart is so effing torn and all I can think is why or what I should have done differently. They say not to question God, but this right here just ain't sitting right with me. What am I supposed to do now? Who do I talk to about my business plans? When I just want to go up and get on the plane, who's going to come with me? We've been doing this ish, man, since 2014 type. We had so much more to accomplish together. I literally just asked you the other day when I get rich, what car you want? And you said a mother effing G-Wagon, crying laughing. Whoa, 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 I ain't your man, crying laughing. Such a genuine soul, beautiful and strong-minded individual. Gone away too soon, love you. So, so fake. Like, really? You see how fake people could be, right? The audacity to have written that, but soon as the world finds out that you were in part responsible and that you were the mastermind behind it all, now all of a sudden your Facebook is in hiding with you too. Deactivated. And did y'all peep the emphasis on Miss Quella the boss? The boss in all uppercase, right? So even in death, it's like he's fixated on her pockets. There was once a meme going around that said something like, once they call you big money, conversation over. Mm, cause they be the ones, okay? And that's why some won't even tell their peoples what they do for a living or all they do. Cause now all of a sudden, they want you to pay for everything. They complain to you all day as if you don't have your own problems. And they're looking at you with envious eyes all cause you're working cause you fucking have to. As if life is free for you. Like, huh? But yeah, this is a bestie who Quella brought around her family and she even took him on family trips. That's how much she trusted him. A best friend. He had went on family trips. I never thought that he could be that low to do my child like that. He's literally the face of why you can't trust people and why you can't really use the term best friend even if you think you knew that person for eight years plus. We have been doing this ish man since 2014, face ass. I love him. <laughs> like, let's really think about it. Because you work and are independent, you know, because obviously life is not free and you're going to have bills, but they just see you working and happy and it bothers them so much that they are willing to find ways to stop you instead of getting their lazy asses up to go work and be happy too or whatever. I said, wow. But what exactly are y'all thinking right now? We really want to know, so leave your thoughts below and like this video and share this content. And if it's your first time here, be sure to sub to this channel for more. And be sure to also hit that bell to join the notification gang. Petsyblog.com, signing out.